Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today it's gonna be a little bit different. I am cooking and I'm sharing a recipe that I saw online and I kind of memorized it right now. Um, it's a soup and it's my favorite one. Whenever I go to Olive Garden, this is the soup I get and it's called Zupa Tuscana. If I'm saying it right or wrong, I'm sorry. Anyways, I am gonna go ahead and share the recipe of how I make it. Um, and then I hope you guys enjoy it. I just thought it would be something different. I love cooking um, soups throughout fall and winter. I know we're like, what many, how many days? I'm gonna say about 13 days away. I'm pretty, yeah, 13 days away from fall. Oh, um, so I wanna share with you guys what I like to cook. We're also gonna eat spaghetti, but I don't, my spaghetti is way different than what I've seen. But I do wanna share this. This is my favorite and Brandon's favorite soup. So I'm gonna tell you uh, the ingredients that I'm going to use. Um, I may add some of the more things to it, uh, but I'm gonna show you the main ingredients that I'm gonna be using today. Okay, so it counts for Italian sausage, but this is, Brandon and I love um, hot sausage. So we're gonna ha need a packet of one, two, three, four, five, I usually use just two of the sausage, so it won't be too spicy. You're gonna need kale. You can buy it fresh, but um, for us, um, the frozen one, frozen one works better. You're gonna need a whole a garlic, a garlic head um, for this. A whole um, onion, white onion, four large potatoes, baked potatoes. You have to wash them really good. I am going to peel mine. You're also gonna need chicken broth. This is the only broth I have, but if I need more, I can always um, add water to it. And I have chicken bouillon that I can add. And you're going to need heavy whipping cream. All right, so I'm gonna be peeling my potatoes. I usually keep the, sometimes I keep the peel but today I decided to peel it off. It's best to peel it off. So I'm gonna peel four of these. Now I'm going to cut potatoes. Not too big and not too small, so we're just gonna cut them. All right, now we're gonna uh, cut the onion. All right, I already cut the onion and the garlic, so I'm going to put it in a large pot, okay? And then I put a little bit of cooking oil, and I'm gonna let this um, caramelize a little bit, and then I'm gonna add the potatoes. Okay, the onions are already turning a little bit brown. I don't like mine to turn, ooh, the steam is very bad. Anyways, I don't like mine to turn too brown because I feel like I'm a little bit white. So I'm gonna add 
I already washed my potatoes, so I'm gonna add my potatoes. my potatoes and then stir them up a little bit okay and now I'm going to add my chicken broth water. Okay, I'm gonna refill that with water, so I'm just gonna add one of this water. And I'm gonna add another one of just water. Okay, since I added two more of the cartons of water, I'm gonna add chicken bouillon, just one. And then as it cooks, if it needs salt and pepper, I'll add that as well. All right, I put already the potatoes, almost done cooking, and now I'm gonna heat up the spicy sausage. And I actually ended up putting three instead of two. Three links of the sausage. Okay, while the sausage is cooking, I'm adding the kale. Let's add the kale. All right, guys, I just added um, the sausage. I, let, I browned it, and now I'm gonna let it sit here for another at least 15 minutes. Um, and then I'm gonna add, I added also salt. I added about two tablespoons of salt. Um, and then I'm gonna add the heavy whipped cream in just a little bit. I have to turn up the stove when I do that, otherwise, it, it, I can't explain it, but it looks funny. But anyways, let it cook for 15 minutes and then we'll add the heavy whipping cream. All right, I didn't tell you guys, but I let the potatoes cook for about 20 to 25 minutes. And then um, right now I'm about to add the heavy whipping cream to it. And that's when you have to turn your stove all the way down to low because you don't want the to look like if you cooked cottage cheese <laughs> in there. So I'm gonna show you, I just added it. I'm gonna say I added a half a cup of it. And I'll show you guys how it looks. It looks really good, I'll show it to you guys. All right, so here we go. It's done, it's cooked. So to my taste, it, I think it needs a little bit more. Let me grab it. A spoon. A little bit more salt, just a tiny bit. Moment of truth. Moment. It's very hot. Very hot. I told you it was super hot. What in the world was that? Outstanding. <laughs> is it really good? Spicy. It is so good. That's it. <laughs> Well, thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I will put the recipe on the um, description box. Um, I hope you guys have a great rest of the week, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a thumbs up.
See you guys later. Bye. Bye.